What is so it? ready for the quantum flow activation, celebrating, embodying our vision together. <laughs> So that was kind of an amalgamation of a lot of things that happened in the last week at MVU. However, the first video I made talked about miracles that happen at Mindvalley University. Let me tell you about a few that happened for me. On day four of Mindvalley University, I hugged someone that I thought could only punch me for the rest of my life. And within 60 seconds of that, I literally met somebody else who has been becoming one of my closest friends ever. And then maybe the craziest one. Since I was a little kid, I watched this anime show called Naruto that completely changed my life. It inspired so many things in my adolescence. And ever since then, I've always wanted to create the next generation's Naruto when I'm 50 or 60, I mean decades from now. But I went to lunch with someone who literally has built the infrastructure to build something like that now. And I quote, Skip, why don't we build it together now? The way that I see, you know, we have two different decisions. What do I do with my life right now? I think choose the, the, the path that makes you feel more alive, even if they don't work. Even if you get, even if they fail, which one is going to be worthy? Because if you're trying to say, hey, I'm going to pursue an MBA, because if that works, then I'm going to make a build a network. And then there's a lot of conditions there. If that doesn't work, you say, man, I didn't even want to do it in the beginning with, and, and, and it didn't give me the results that I wanted. But hey, there's another path here. Maybe it's building a company, maybe it's investing on my spiritual growth. Even if I reach nowhere, it's still worthy because it makes me feel more alive. So when I'm in front of these two decisions here, I say, let's assume that both of them will fail. Which one is still worthy to do? thinking with all of this magic friendship love community happening how could you ever go back to real life outside of mvu in my experience you don't to stay sane you have to go back home but you can't go back you have to move forward we have to take an inventory of our lives and figure out what was working before and maybe what's not as inspiring now and sit with ourselves and journal and reflect and integrate and figure out how we can create an even more beautiful life for ourselves forwards at home. And I got home and while everything here looked the same, it just didn't feel the same. It's like there's a ghost of me walking in the same hallways, driving the same car, but he's not me anymore. So I sit, I write, I talk with the people that I love, and I discover what I can do to make my life even more fulfilling and beautiful than it was before. I discover what I can do to be an even more wonderful partner, brother, friend, and human. I'm discovering how I can be more of me. And in doing that, I hope I can empower others to do the same. So whether you were there with me in person, or you were watching these videos, or want to go in the future, until next time, I'm sending you all of the love. Now, I don't want to play the intense amount of education we've gotten this month and all the incredible workshop experiences, the intimacy of hanging out with the authors and meeting everybody in person. There's nothing like it in the world. And the closing party was amazing. <laughs>
And of course, this is only possible because of the epic man Vishen Lakhiani who created Mind Valley and the incredible events team he's put together and all of the volunteers and everyone who helped make this such an epic experience. So if next year you want to be crazy and move with thousands of other people to Tallinn, Estonia for three weeks to potentially transform every area of your life and open yourself up to miracles, I will see you there. I, I, I can